Our next question here, we are told that the first term of the sequence x plus 1, 3x minus 18, 2x minus 1, the sequence is an arithmetic progression, okay? So for an AP, um, normally for an AP, we have what is called the common difference, which is the difference in value between subsequent entries. So in this case, you can say 3x minus 18 minus the initial entry, which is x plus 1, is equal to the last, the third term, 2x minus 1, minus the second term, which is 3x minus 18. This is how we get the common difference. And we can equate them together open the bracket, solve for x to find the value of x for this arithmetic progression. So, if you are doing that, what we are going to have now, after opening up the bracket, is 3x minus x is 2x, minus 18 minus 1 is minus 19, 2x minus 3x is minus x, minus 1 plus 18 is 17. So, taking x to the left-hand side, we have 2x plus x, it will be 17, then 1 minus 19 goes to the right hand side, that will be plus 19, giving us 3x is equal to 17 plus 19 is 36. If we divide both sides by 3, just to solve our hex, we can see that our hex will now be 12 x is 12 but we are not asked to solve for x we are asked to solve for the first term which is x plus 1 that will be 12 plus 1 and 13 the correct answer okay we don't want to stop at x and say that is our answer it is 13. so here in question number 24 we're told that if 5 x y and 40 and in geometric progression, we are to find x and y respectively. Now, if we are very observant and we can actually look at this critically, we can say 5x, y, and 40. This is GP. Geometric progression means that we are looking at something that is referred to as common ratio. Okay? So the common ratio will be the next item divided by the previous item, like 40 divided by y will be y divided by x will be x divided by 5. Like, say, okay, we are going to say that x over 5 will be the same as y over x and that will be the same as 40 over y. What number can we actually multiply with each subsequent entry to give us 40 when we are starting from 5? If I'm looking at it, I can say, I think my common ratio is 2 because 5 times 2 is 10, 10 times 2 is 20, 20 times 2 is 40. So already I can see that is 5, 10, 20, 40 and I will just pick my option c already but if you don't know that's why we're here let's study it together so here if you have to take first you want to take the first two entries this and this if you say x over 5 is equal to y over x we can cross multiply so that we have 5y is equal to x squared or we can see that y is equal to um, x raised to power 2 over 5 now that that's for that what of the case in which you want to take um x over 5 and 40 over y so we can say x over 5 is equal to 40 over y okay so here if we cross multiply we can say x y is equal to 40 times 5 40 times 5 is 200 but now we know y to be look at y this is y so we can say x multiplied by x raised to the power 2 over 5, Abby, is equal to 40 times 5 is 200. So here yeah, we have x times x raised to the power 2 is x raised to the power 3. 5 times 200 is 1000, okay? But looking at 1000, 1000 is, um, if you want to express it as a number raised to the power 3, we can say x raised to the power 3 is 10 raised to the power 3. Since the base are equal, then definitely the since the powers are equal, then definitely the base will be equal. Therefore, our x, we can say it is 10. Okay? Now, since x is 10, what is the value of y? We know that originally we have identified y to be x raised to the power 2 over 5. So, y in this case will be 10 raised to the power 2 over 5. Okay? Coming from here. So, that y will be 10 raised to the power 2 is 100 over 5. And that is 20. So, that correct option is option C as we have iterated before. Okay, we want to look at question number 25, not 24, please. It's question number 25. So we are given the progression 5, 8, 11, and 14. I want to find the expression for the nth term of the 
progression okay now we are we know the first term a is five the common difference will be the difference between each entity you can say eight minus five or eleven minus eight is the same we have three but the time for the nth term generally for an ap the nth term tn is a plus n minus one d a is the first term n is the number of terms d is a common difference so that's the formula for the nth term so if you want to input the values of a and d you can say that is 5 plus n minus 1 times 3 and that will be 5 plus 3n minus 3 when we open the bracket 5 minus 3 is 2 so we have 3n plus 2 and that is our solution we want to check we can just say that let's say the fourth term we have 3n that's 3 times 4 plus 2 that's 12 plus 2 which is 14 so we got 14 and that is our expression for the nth term 3n plus 2 so that's all we are going to be having in our lecture today we hope that this will be of benefit of use to somebody out there don't forget to subscribe to our channel we have a lot of resources that you can use to enhance your academic excellence and that's our desire that you go out and be the best and as you do all this, we know that all will work out together for good. Until next time, God bless you.